It always seems like the sun will never set until we look up and find it already has. The sirens buzz a little louder now. They always buzz louder at night. The devil is weak and humans are strong, and that is the way it has always been. Even a kid can kill the devil. All she has to do is try. I'm bored. We should make the rounds, maybe? We should do something else. We should make the rounds. Or we could do something else? Come on, we have to. It might be nothing, but if we don't check, we'll get in trouble. Or die, you know. Jupiter pulls herself up by her radio. It's long and thin and delicate, but then there's that awful weight at the end. Let's all go. Bring your radios. And leave everything else? Yeah, why not? It's not like anyone's gonna steal it. What if he comes by when we're gone? Hmm, that's true. Ugh, who cares? The captain? A lot, probably. Ugh. I know. But it's not good for one of us to be alone. That's why there shouldn't be three of us in the first place. This is such a joke. It makes sense for two people to go out and one to stay here. Ugh, yeah, fine. Yeah, we should do something else, actually. Truth or dare again? Oh, come on! After all that, you already convinced me. The sirens are louder tonight. I can definitely hear something. No, forget it. I don't want to. Let's just not. He's never gonna know. And tonight's just going to turn out to be another night where nothing happens, right? I don't want to. Let's just stay here. That's what I was saying! What if the captain comes and checks on us? Nah, he's going home with his girlfriend or whatever she is tonight. Irresponsible? Gross. Whatever. It's so him. He's not going to bother us, and even if he did, we could say we were totally just about to do it, or we already did it, and how's he going to know? Cool. Good. Jupiter sits down and gently leans her radio against the wall. It's an easy and correct choice to make. It would have been nice to go together, but we can't. We should do the irresponsible thing and stay in the sleeping bags and pile up clothes until we're happy. Ah, uh, here come the sirens. No, ow, they're so loud. God, why won't he shut up? But God has spoken, on that unmistakable frequency. Two of us have to go, one has to stay. Uh, let's go. I'll stay. Are you sure? Going out right now sounds like the fucking worst, are you kidding? I'll mark the outside of the house with my radio. And no one who's not us will be able to get in? Okay, if you're sure. I know you'll miss me, but you'll be fine without me, I promise. The woods are gross. Bye. We leave Neptune making marks on the outside of the house, precisely, with her radio. She's good at everything, but no one but us believes it. And that's just how she likes it. Under the buzz of the insects, the woods are full of low static of sleeping sirens. They hate him, but the devil flocks to them, like a moth to the flame. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she's fine. Are you really worried? A little. Why? Isn't she mean to you? A little. Isn't she mean to you? A little. My mom says that anyone who's mean has been hurt. Which is everyone, so I guess it's kind of a stupid thing to say. My mom's weird like that. Ha! <laughs> My mom would never say something like that. She'd say, No one will respect you if you don't have any manners. Or, Choose your words for others carefully, even if they don't do the same for you. That's good advice. Kind of. Right? She doesn't believe thinking things is something you can teach. To her, you just get it or you don't. And until then, you should just shut up and do the right thing instead of looking like an idiot. I'm too slow for her, like my dad. Must be nice to be smart and get things quickly. Must be such a good feeling to get things right, not have to screw up, not just pretending you understand. You get diodes pretty well? But Neptune knows that everyone means right away. I can tell when anyone is lying. Can't tell when anyone is lying. So I just believe everything on purpose, I guess? When I was fixing the radio in the dining hall, Group South told me a rusty nail would work just as well as a Galena, and I went along with it. Even though it definitely doesn't work as well and cuts the range down too far, they wanted me to screw up. Like, I know that? But if I pointed it out, they'd just get madder. 
and say whatever and not stop until I said they were right and believed it too. So I just believed them anyway. I got in so much trouble. I don't know why it felt so much easier. I could have just explained it. But when I thought about how much trouble I'd get in, it's way easier. I do it all the time. Really? I don't know how to not. Maybe Neptune really knows best. You can barely hear the sirens anymore, guys. It's fine. Sit still. You're making me crazy. I'm still a little worried. It's always like this. The devil always shows up when you least expect it. You two are unbearable. And we, all we literally have to do is chill. You can do that, right? Right? Um, I can try? Well, not really. God. I should have known. You are both impossible. I'm so glad I brought this. Oh my god. The bottle is half drunk and sticky and smells of paint thinner, sugar, and artificial flavoring. And that is exactly what it is, along with some additives that will shave years off our lives. No need to praise me too much. You can thank me by drinking this until you're no longer anxious and annoying. That's... I'm... Illegal! That is fine, because either way, I'm gonna drink it until I don't care how anxious and annoying either of you are. How did you even get that? I traded this fine bottle of pernicious rogue for 20 bucks and my three ugliest shades of nail polish. Aren't I generous? I haven't ever had alcohol before. Oh god, it hurts just to smell. Are you sure this is something people can drink? Impossible, the both of you. I swear to god. Sorry, it's not an Italian red, my darling princesses. I also don't have a martini glass or umbrellas either, but I promise you, adults are lying assholes about alcohol, and all this shit is samely awful. What you should be saying is, Neptune, thank you so much for getting some with the chaser already in it, you perfect darling. You're saving us the embarrassment of throwing up after our first shot, and you ask for nothing in return but us to shut the fuck up. You're an angel who doesn't deserve any of this. Um, sorry, thank you. Neptune, thank you so much for- Don't get smart with me. I only have two shot glasses, so who's going with me? Um, Jupiter. Jupiter, you're gonna drink, right? Uh, please don't tell me you're not. I guess. Peer pressure, you're not cool if you don't drink. Oh no, I am falling for this. Look at me. I'm an after-school special, you're hanging out with the wrong crowd. Who knows what will happen. Okay, okay. Good. Cheers? <laughs> Your face right now. It's not... Uh, it's just so sweet. It'd be easier straight. Wait, this isn't your first time drinking? My dad sometimes gives me a little. And my mom too, on Sundays. They're really strict, though. They want me to, like, appreciate it and not do exactly what we're doing and drink horrible shit for the sake of getting drunk. Well, it's too late now. You're corrupted forever, and the only choice is to drink until you are drunk and hungover so you can learn an important lesson about life and peer pressure and whatever. Okay, I will drink to that. Bottoms up, bitch! Uh, yep, still bad. Ugh, how do you stand it? You're barely making a face, it's infuriating. Another, please. I can't stand it, it's awful, it's unimaginable. Please, show me mercy. Another. Are you sure? Um, I'm just gonna read. Fuck you, take this shot! Uh, g uh I hate this. What is this flavor? Fruit punch? Or is it green apple? Maybe watermelon? I can't believe you're not even tipsy. Your father is incredible. Is he Vin Diesel? Is he Arnold Schwarzenegger? Is he Ernest Hemingway? Are you the love child of Vin Diesel and Ernest Hemingway? Well, he doesn't care for women or long sentences, if that counts. <laughs> That's fucking funny. So you have read a book. I mean, it's not because he's mean or anything. He just doesn't like women. Oh. Oh. Wait. Why would he send you here? Sometimes we just do stuff so mom will chill. 
<laughs> your dad is so cool. Yeah, he really is. Another? Okay. My dad said that humans may have made alcohol, but the devil gave him the idea. Your dad has never been more right about anything. The worse it tastes, the more evil it makes you. And every kind has its own sort of evil in it. I think alcohol is incredible like that. It's all the same. No, no, no. It's so different. It's so different. Like, red wine makes you lascivious, but also kind of weepy, and beer makes you lazy, but prepared to yell. Oh, yeah? Then what does this make you feel? Hmm... I feel like I want to break a window. Um... You're right! Fuck! I'm going to throw up on everyone! <sighs> you are not sober. Neither are you, miss. It's written all over your smug, lazy face. I can tell. Ha. Ha. Oh. No, it's true. This is a tragedy. How will my reputation as number one untouchable tomboy prude ever recover? God, don't complain. I got most touchable, and it's not even true. I'm not half as bad as those sluts in Group Southeast. Leave me alone, please. People think you're cool, you know. They are wrong and also jerks. Camp will be over soon anyway. Assholes. Fuck em. Fuck em, Jupiter. <laughs> yeah. Let's do another. <sighs> Fine. Ugh. <laughs> you shouldn't drink so fast. Uh, no, it's not that. Are you okay? Uh, God, I itch. <coughs> Neptune? Okay, I... I... I s stop. Damn it. Not... here. Come on, let's go to the bathroom. Don't throw up here. I'm fine. Don't... <coughs> <coughs> Neptune, don't look. Are you... I'm fine. I'm fine. Seriously, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. I just felt a little sick. I can do... One more. One more? Disgusting forever. You're sure you're okay, Neptune? Fuck off, please. We're finishing this goddamn bottle and nothing will stop me. Am I drunk? Am I still drunk? This is hard. I don't get it. How are you supposed to tell? The bottle is almost empty, and you two are babies, and that is a 100% objective measurement. We are... that thing. Drunk! Excellent work! 10 points to Hufflepuff. Wait, stop immediately and say that again? Uh, I mean... Venus is drunk and also hearing things. I totally wanted Hufflepuff, but the quiz put me in Slytherin. Are you serious? Same. Oh my god, really? But wait, I see it. You're just like, what's her name? You know, Nymphomania something? The one with the cool hair and intense expression and the kind of gay? Exactly, wait. It was Nymphadora. Oh my god, she hates that she goes by her last name. And how the hell are you still sober enough to be able to pronounce and remember it? I'm not drunk. <laughs> Venus, come here. Uh, okay. I don't know. Do it. Okay, um, sorry, Jupiter, but Venus says I'm supposed to hold you down until you drink. I'll drink it. What boo ruined you both are no fun. Ugh. Oh my god. Are you drunk? Is it finally possible? Uh, I need a second. We did it, Venus. Thank you for your support. That's the power of teamwork and good finding. Ten billion points to us. Good job, you win, you two. What are we playing next? What are we playing next? What a good question. We already did truth or dare, I guess, but there's probably something more awful and worse, right? Oh, like seven minutes in heaven? Oh my god, perfect! That is the worst, dumbest idea. Yes. No, no, wait, that's not... I will win. You can't win it, though. Haha, <laughs> good. God, let's... B bravery is for that other house. I declare it my turn. 
Uh, let's go with... I... I'm partial to Venus. I like them both, I don't know. Let's just go with Venus. Um, so, we are here. Yep. Um, why? Because that's the game? I thought you were going to say Neptune, so I... What about Neptune? Why not you? You're safe. You're like a puppy. You're harmless. Did you lose your nerve? Except when you talk. Sorry, I just thought you're so fluffy. Wow, what do you do to your hair? Basically nothing. We're friends too, aren't we? It's not weird. We're friends? See what I mean about except when you talk? Oh, sorry. People call any group of kids friends, even if they were just forced to spend time with each other and actually kind of hate each other, though. Jesus, Venus. I don't know what to do with you. I know, that's why I play dumb most of the time. Like, about you and Neptune. But I don't want to get in the way. If you were that worried about me and Neptune, that's actually a pretty cool friend thing to do. <sighs> Does that make you my wingman? I'm kidding. That is all jokes. You sure are not like other boys? <laughs> Thank you. It would be a lot easier if I was, though. Thank you? <laughs> I finally found a compliment you like. I envy boys a little sometimes, too. Isn't that the good thing about them? That they're easier? A more straightforward sort of evil? Boys hate you to your face, at least. At least you know how they feel about you. People say that a lot. Is it true? Maybe this sounds weird, but... But actually, I don't think the boys are any different. I spend a lot of time with boys, you know? And they're mad to your face, sure, but they're always... Always... Mad about something else, too, you know? I don't know how to describe it. They hide what they're mad about by getting mad about something else. And they don't even know it. Like the captain. What's the captain really mad about, you think? I don't know. I thought it must just be here, being here like us. But I think that's not everything. What do you think I'm mad about? You're not mad. What am I then? I don't know. You're lying. I thought you said you were getting annoyed because I kept talking about it. <laughs> that's so right. What about you then? I'm mad about a lot of things, I guess. Liar. You're not mad. Jealous. What are you so jealous? It's flattering. But it's weird. I don't know. You're so mean though. For me to you. You aren't at all. And Neptune isn't. I wish I could be meaner. I wish I could be so much meaner. When you're mean though, it doesn't feel mean. Like you said, we're friends, right? Yeah. You know, you could be a little mean and we wouldn't care. I don't want to, though. Sometimes you still mean, without meaning to be. I know, I hate it. I'd rather get made fun of than be mean. Hmm. You shouldn't say things like that. Why not? I don't want to. I just don't. I know I'm bad at getting anyone to like me, and I'm weird, and everyone else can deal with even though I can't. But I can't. I'm just gonna be like this, and I'm not going to be any different. You're asking to get beat up. I don't care. But for real. I said I'm fine. You're frustrating. Jupiter snaps her hairband. Venus feels something tighten around his neck. You ha uh, Venus? Venus! Ah. Uh, I've got you, I'm what is this? What hoops hands? <sighs> I'm okay. Oh, Oh god, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. It's okay, I'm fine. It's okay, I promise. It's not. It's not okay. 